Hey guys, Dave here from Easy Country Cooking and Cook and Share. It is January and I got the January blues this after Christmas. So I decided to settle things up with some homemade chicken noodle soup. And it came out absolutely wonderful with some leftover chicken from Christmas or turkey even. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do guys is throw three tablespoons of butter into my pot. We'll just kind of let this melt down. This is unsalted butter by the way. Now in with a chopped carrot. A small chopped white onion. Grab up two stalks of celery and just slice this up. Then go ahead and throw it into the mix. Grab up the old spoon and give everything a stir around. We're going to saute this just to the point where the veggies get soft. While the old veggies are getting soft, I'm going to go ahead and mix up two tablespoons of flour in with a cup of milk. Give this a stir around, of course, until it's well combined. Okay, the veggies are tender now, so we'll go ahead and pour that milk in. Give everything a stir around just to make sure there are no lumps in that flour and milk mixture, but it's coming together nicely now. Alrighty then, now in with four cups of chicken stock, you can also use vegetable stock too. Now we're going to add in some chicken that I had left over from last night, and this is a great recipe guys for leftover chicken, turkey, you know, from Christmas, Thanksgiving, whatever it might be. And there's no specific amount here, I mean just add in as much as you want depending on how chickenly you want it. Season it up with about a sprig or so of fresh thyme, you know, depending on how what you have on hand. You can also use dried too. A teaspoon of dried parsley. I don't have any fresh on hand, so I had to use dried, but if you got fresh, go ahead and use it. About a teaspoon of salt. And a couple of teaspoons of the old ground black pepper. Of course, once again, a stirring weevil going. Guys, a lot of people don't use, you know, the milk mixture in their chicken noodle soup, and this makes it so so incredibly creamy oh so good and it smells absolutely wonderful okay we got a soft boil happening here so i'm going to throw in a couple of cups of egg noodles now you could also use macaroni noodles too then we'll just slip a lid on and let it simmer away for about 10 or 15 minutes just until the noodles are soft after a few minutes guys the noodles are softened up and just look at this doesn't this look spectacular now to make it even more creamy, I'm going to go in with half a cup of heavy cream and that's where that real, real creaminess comes from. And believe me, this is going to be the yummiest, creamiest chicken noodle soup in the whole wide world. And the whole wide world is a pretty big place, I do declare. But just check this out, my friends. Doesn't this look wonderfully rich and wonderfully creamy? Of course, it is time to ladle things into a bowl, and oh my goodness, this is going to be good. Just look at that chicken noodle soup. I think I'm going to serve this up with, let me see, maybe some French bread or, or some crackers or something like that. You let me know in the, uh, the comment section below. And there you have it, guys. Our simply must-make chicken noodle soup. Just spectacular. You are going to love this. And if you do decide to make it up, leave us a comment and let us know what you think and give us a like because it certainly does help the channel out. And most of all, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy souping. Stay safe and we'll see you next time.